G'day and welcome to Mr. Craftsmith, I'm Darren and in today's video, this is part two of the series where part one we designed a grid waste board so that we can use that to start helping us align our work and, and understanding that sort of process. So this is part two where we actually put pedal to the metal and uh, we're gonna engrave that board. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, I'm gonna do this on a piece of MDF. And the reason I'm doing it on a piece of MDF is twofold. Now, this is my maker space that you're sort of seeing in here, and it's a multi-purpose space. I don't really have a lot of room to have individual workspaces for individual items. So the, the way that I get around that is uh, I can do this on a piece of MDF, and then if I need to move, move the laser engraver for whatever reason, I can do that because everything will align and we'll get to that in a minute. So, first things first. I'm just gonna slide the piece of MDF. This is 16 millimeter MDF. I'm not quite sure what that works out to in Imperial, but it's probably 5 eighths or something like that. It'll probably show up on the, on the screen there. I'll pop some details up there. But it's, um, I'm using the Autour Laser Master 3. And basically all I'm doing is just getting a rough squaring up of that so that it's sitting quite nicely on the board. It doesn't have to be perfect because what we're actually doing is we're gonna be placing some um, feet underneath it to uh, help keep it in place. So we can see by that one, it's in about the right spot there. So the next thing that we want to do is I've, we need to be able to stabilize this. So if for example, I, uh, I uh, engrave this grid and I didn't have some way of lining it up perfectly again, it's never gonna be aligned. So in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in, there was a guy on there that actually 3D printed some um, feet for the Auto Laser Master 3. And uh, so I printed off a couple of sets and they're actually absolutely a, a super snug fit and they work amazingly well. So I've already put some double-sided tape on there so it's, uh, not to waste time. But uh, all I'm gonna do is take the, the back of this double-sided tape off, stick it underneath each feet, each one of the feet, and uh, and then we'll come back when we've done that one. Okay, so I've got those feet with the double-sided tape uh, sitting underneath, so they're all supported. I put down a little bit of extra pressure just to make sure that they're actually sticking down there. And uh, now all I've got to do is lift this one off, and you can see how snug they are. I'll just pop this down on the ground for the minute. So they're held in place. Uh, so they've actually got some screw holes in them. So I'm just gonna screw those in so they're secured to the board and we'll move on to that next step. Okay, so you can see that they've been secured to the waste board now. So that means I can move this waste board around anywhere. And uh, if I wanna pop the um, engraver back on, it's in exactly the same spot every single time because of the location of the feet. So let's get it back up there. Make sure I put it around the right way. And we just line her up. So there you go, the uh, feet are, in, uh, are screwed in, so that's a, a repeatable process now that I can take that out and pop it pop it away somewhere if I need to, and if I need to use this workspace, well, I've, I can move the waste board and I've got it ready to do something else with. So that's perfect for those spaces where you don't have a lot of room, and a lot of us, I guess, are probably doing this in our garage, and um, so the more we can utilize the space for multi-purposes, the, all the better. All right, so, but, but before we take on the next step, this is ready to engrave. But to stop this sliding around on the uh, table here, I've just got some probably one mil, two mil uh, rubber, and uh, I've just folded that in half, and I can just stick that underneath to stop things moving around. So we'll just chuck a bit of those, a couple of those under there. It doesn't have to be exact. They can just go anywhere. And do the same on the other end. And let's just lift that one up. All right, so, so you can see now that keeps that nice and rigid. 
and it'll actually take some of the uh, absorb some of the uh, vibrations as well, which uh, is perfect. So next step, we're just going to get this uh, job set up in Lightburn, and we'll get to engraving. So here we are in Lightburn, and we've got that job loaded that uh, we did in the last video. I'll pop a link to that one down in the in the description as well, so you've got to look at. So if you haven't already seen that one, it's a good one to have a look at how you can actually design your own uh, waste grid. Now I copied, uh, I, I downloaded this from uh, LA Hobby Guy and um, I know the whole process was to see how we could actually design this ourselves. So learning a new skill essentially. So uh, this is a, a, essentially a replica of that with a couple of circles added in the middle. So if I go into my uh, cut layers, I've got my settings there. You might notice that they are a little bit different to what we had previously had, but I've done some testing just to um, make sure that the uh, the lines, which is the grid, is actually going to uh, be uh, dark enough so that we can see that. And uh, we've adjusted the fill layer as well. So if we take a look at the preview, we can see here, if we just maximize that, that the print job is going to run 17 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, the reason we've done that, uh, or how we've actually done that, is we've put these into groups. So the uh, numeric values around the outside, they're all done in groups, which makes it a lot quicker, as we have uh, shown in previous videos, that uh, if we can, you can see that there's no traversing across all of this empty space across here and that's gonna save a huge amount of time to, uh, to engrave this file. So if, if we didn't have that, you're probably looking at over an hour, uh, probably about an hour and a quarter to print that file if we don't split those up into groups. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do, I've got the uh, laser turned on, and I'm just gonna press home just to make sure that it's actually in the home position. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at this uh, job and just frame it up just to make sure that it's all good. So I'm just gonna click on the frame there. And we have a look at that. It's running itself around the perimeter and it's not giving me any problems there. All right, that's good. So the next thing I want to do is just double check. I'm going to move this uh, into one of my save positions, which is the center, which is set at 200 and 200. So what I'm doing here is I'm just double checking the focus uh, distance to make sure that I've got that in the right position. And I have, so that's all ready to go. Again, I'm just gonna frame that up just to make sure Doesn't hurt to double check. It's like you, uh, like the saying goes, you measure twice and cut once. Same applies to engraving in my opinion. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Now, uh, normally I would have an enclosure running over the top of this one and, um, and I've got some exhaust that that would be hooked up to, but just for the purpose of the example, we're going to do a uh, overhead shot uh, time-lapse just to say, show you what's actually happening. So I'm with the safety goggles. I'll turn on the exhaust fan. Uh, so it is quite well ventilated in here. I've got all the windows and doors open, so uh, there won't be any problem with the smoke. So you can hear that, that's all charged up, ready to go. So double checking, it's gonna do the lines first, and then it's going to do the numbers around the outside. Just quickly, while that's running, I just wanted to touch on a couple of other reasons why it might be a good idea to do these waste boards or waste grids on a separate piece of MDF. There's a couple of benefits that I talked about earlier is, is space. Space is obviously a premium for a lot of us. So if we can, like I suggested, have a multi-purpose space, then that's gonna be a huge benefit to us that we can do a lot more things in the same smaller space. The other couple of advantages there that is that I didn't quite touch on is if you were to do this uh, grid on top of a bench, a workbench, and you're going to attach it to that workbench, which if you're going to do that, that's totally fine. The thing that I would be concerned about there is potentially, it's, it's not a case of if, but when you actually mess up a job or mess up an engrave and you have the wrong coordinates or something like that, and you will in fact start to damage the work surface of that. Now, 
a, a, a little bit here and there it's not going to be too much of a bother but once you start sort of getting a few more marks on it it might be a little bit more difficult to work with so the benefit like i suggested of having the mdf is that it's a separate piece of wood it's uh it's about 16 dollars here in australia so it's probably not too much anywhere else around the world and the the other thing that i didn't quite touch on is that it's double-sided so you get a two for one deal with a with a single piece of wood so uh, that was just something i wanted to chuck in there just as an added bonus to uh, why you might want to do these on a separate piece of mdf Okay, so there you have it. So we've we've completed the waste board. It's uh, it's done a fantastic job. So what we're able to then do is we're going to start using this grid to help us line up what we've got. In the next video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run through some concepts of um, how you can start to use this grid to make your work a whole lot more accurate and uh, and start doing some batch work and things like that. So just a quick example is if we've got a slate coaster, a round slate coaster like I talked about, that is, a, is 100 millimeters. We've now got that circle in the middle that I can line that up directly underneath and it's ready to go. There's no more guesswork. So that's the thing to look forward to in the next video is running through that, running through how we can create some uh, templates and uh, we can use our grid pattern that we've burnt uh, or engraved onto our waste board to make things a whole lot simpler for us. And the simpler the things are for me, the better. So hopefully you've got something out of that one. If you have, give us a like and until next time, be creative and stay grateful. Bye for now.